This program is about energy. I'm sure you know what energy is and why it is important. But can you imagine a world without energy? think this could ever happen? Well, yes, due to the high energy demand and low energy production, the energy could run out very soon. Rising standards of living in a growing world population will cause global energy consumption to increase over the next half century. Energy consumption is predicted to increase at least twofold by the year 2050. The answer to tackle this issue would be renewable energy. Renewable energy technologies range from solar power, wind power, hydroelectricity, microhydro, biomass, and biofuels for transportation. In this program, we will be focusing on a technology which uses the sun's energy to produce the electricity, namely disensitized solar cells. Disensitized solar cell is made from a conducting cathode surface and a transparent anode surface. Sandwiched in between the two surfaces is titanium dioxide particles contained within a 3D matrix and coated with a photosensitive dye. This allows for a massive surface co area coverage. Now what happens when a photon comes from the sun and hits the cell is that the dye is excited and an excited electron in the dye is then transferred to the titanium dioxide particle. The particle then diffuses by a chemical gradient to the anode surface where its electron is released. The dye is now in an unstable state, which is alleviated by the donation of an electron from the iodide electrolyte, which is then replenished by the cathode surface, completing the circuit. Dye-sensitized solar cells have much greater potential than conventional semiconductor solar cells, and this is because Titanium dioxide is cheap and easy to make, while conventional cells require large quantities of expensive silicon. Dye-sensitized solar cells can be manufactured in a process similar to inkjet printing, and for example, half a mile of dye-sensitized material can be produced in around three hours. Energy is the lifeblood of our economy and of our lives. Now, as you know, the energy resources from which we derive our daily usage are running out and fast. In today's program, you've learned about one of the ways in which research scientists have tried to tackle this problem, i.e. via disolar synthesized cells. But many more minds and much more effort needs to go into this problem. And that's where you come in. <laughs>